Capricorn. What is going on, baby? It is me. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpio Red Zero. I am back at it again. One time, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. For the month of February. For February. Yes, indeed, my dears. Did you miss me? Because I sure the hell missed you. Because y'all been going up, baby. Yes, God. All right. So I'm ready to be on this goddamn gravy train, baby. Because the way y'all is. <laughs> I love reading me some Capricorns because y'all be having some interesting readings, honey. Yes, indeed. Okay, so listen. Thank you guys so much for clicking this video. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes. Thank you to all my newbies. Thank you to all my OGs. Thank you to everyone for all of your various forms of support. Have it be you clicking the like button. Have it you be um, a booking a reading. Um, you guys have been sending me some books through the Amazon wish list i just got the mercury retrograde book that just came in this week and the moonology deck oh my goodness i'm forgetting happy freaking valentine's day to you guys shout out to everyone i hope everyone is expressing and receiving lots of love and abundance so shout out to everyone i hope that you guys are having an amazing amazing um valentine's day uh so let's get into this um if you guys want to book a reading with me all of the booking information and um, the payments uh, uh, payment list is on the about tab uh, you can connect with me on Instagram if you do not have an Instagram you can connect with me on Google Hangouts it's an easy app to download only thing you need is my email to connect with me which is scorpionreds at gmail.com my email address is also linked in the about tab if these videos resonate at any time of course the most important form of support is by hitting the like button if this video resonates for you or if you feel like it resonates for someone else um, and it's giving you help um, and you guys want to support either by booking a reading or, uh, like I said, you guys be sending books, decks, and all type of stuff. The PayPal, the Amazon wish list, the uh, Cash app is there. Thank you guys so much for all of the super chats and all of the forms of support. You guys amaze me all the time. I actually, um, because of the bookings, I was able to add the love back into the page i just ordered three new decks which you guys will be seeing in march so again thank you guys so much for the love we are going all the way up i am hopping on the capricorn gravy train baby because it's gravy baby yes indeed it is show me the money season so you already know we all about the money and the honey baby come on so listen capricorn let's get into this let's say a quick prayer over the energy and we're just going to thank god and give them thanks so father god we are here with the beautiful beautiful and abundant glowing and golden sign of Capricorn Father God you already know we claimed victory over 2020 last year okay so have no fear Capricorn is here oh man we are here to take over and show up and show out Father God please continue to bless our steps Father God listen as you are blessing our steps we are bowing down and we are saying Thank you, okay? If ain't nobody told you thank you, Father God, Capricorn is saying thank you you okay because people be trying to hate on Capricorn people be trying to have all this negative talk have this negative energy being casted towards us and guess what we are, are washing our hands of them and we are casting that energy right on back on to sender because listen we don't have time for all of that we don't have time on that we're keeping our head up we're keeping our vibrations higher because we are out here ready and aim to inspire father god because they ain't seen the best of us yet they ain't seen the best of us yet father god oh honey we are just getting started okay we are just getting started father god so thank you so much for this confidence and that's one thing that people fear us the most for is because our confidence oh car oh car we are reloaded so capricorn let them know what is going on in the season we are not playing okay and baby i saved the best for last capricorn we about to come on up and through here i already feel the energy i already know how y'all going because capricorn be like people be straight hating on us all right and sometimes when we be coming through with a good reading people be like because uh, 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 a capricorn had did this to me listen that was your capricorn on. this Capricorn that we hold on this one right here this one right here in my Tamar voice this one right here is way different okay I am reloaded 
load up the gas. Father God, we busting off today. We letting off shots and it's going to hit who is meant to hit. Okay? Because this one is different. All right? So, Father, continue to spread your light and sprinkle all that magic pixie dust all over us to continue to bless our footsteps, Father God, because we are thanking every single step that you have placed before us because our steps have been ordered and they got your name on it and it's sealed and delivered with Capricorn on it. So we thank you. We ain't worried about what no one else got to say. We thank you because we know where we're going because you showing us every day and we claiming victory all through 20. Father, give us guidance today because we ain't even about to keep playing right now. Amen. Ha! Ha! Hold on, Capricorn. Ha! Get it to him, me, Cap. Ha! Okay, we are reloaded. Y'all ain't got it. Y'all ain't got it for us. Y'all don't have it for Capricorn. Not this season. It says when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and your memories you have shared with others. So why would I cloud my energy, my time, and my mind with people that is not filling my soul and not on this vibration of my energy? That part, okay, we're not playing with you. Okay, it says twin flames. Passion ignites. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a 22. Oh, pum pum pum. We don't do that twin flame shit over here. No, 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 no. We don't do no running, chasing bullshit over here, baby. No, we don't. What is this? A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. But if it does, cut the twin flame bullshit and come into a soulmate connection and bring that ass here, boy. Okay? This is um 2020 show me the money energy. We not playing Capricorn, not playing with you. We not doing this twin flame runner chase. Oh, I love you. I'm just not ready for you. Nigga. Okay? Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a 22, nigga. Pew, pew, pew. Get that shit out of here. Either you gonna come here and be clear. Either you gonna come here and be clear about your attentions. Because ain't nobody running and chasing after a motherfucking thing, baby. We got too much shit. Y'all hear how Capricorn popping off? Capricorn ain't got it to do. Sexual union, okay? Sexual union. They say honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there will you will find true bliss. So this was listen, sometimes people let me break down this twin flame bullshit because y'all not I'm not about to play with y'all. Sometimes people get caught up in this twin flame fantasy, this illusion to sell tarot readings because it's just like a drug dealer. They want to keep you trapped and they want to keep you wanting and waiting and being patient. Just be patient. They're coming back. They are drug dealers. They are selling you tarot readings. I am not that type of reader, nor have I ever been because I do not do the devil's work. Do you understand? And it's saying exactly what it is. Twin flames and Ain't nothing but passionate sexual unions. It ain't nothing but that. It's karmic. Do you understand? All right? So if you got a message for Capricorn, I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love, don't send no fucking messages, bitch. Bring that ass here. Be here and be clear. Okay? Other than that, we're not stopping this gravy train where we're going. Okay? Resting on no hopes and dreams that someone is going to get their shit together and finally come back around so people can stop fucking running and chasing around people. We do not do that. When we pass from this world, the only thing that you have, what does it say? You take nothing but your soul in the memories you have. So if only memories you have is sitting there waiting, okay? anticipating, hoping and dreaming on some fantasy swim flame bullshit, some runner chaser bullshit, a passionate flame ignite. Yes, if it's passionate, show me how passionate. Show me the money. We are goddamn earth signs. We want motherfucking proof. We want the money. Show me the money. Or shut the fuck up. Thank you. We don't want your messages, okay? It wasn't nothing but a sexual union. Show me that you something more. Ha! <laughs> ha! Capricorn's not coming to play with y'all today. We don't want just no sexual union. Show me the money. Okay? What is your value? What is your true purpose? Okay? It's just about to be about sex. Sex don't play no bills, bitch, unless you a prostitute, bitch. Okay? I am reloaded. Who that bill hit? 
Who did it hit? Okay? You gonna show me your worth around this motherfucker. You won't be up around here. Nobody running the chain. Who the fuck you think? What the, what the fuck you think this is? Uh, the road runner? <laughs> fuck you mean. Okay, let's get it to this, man. <laughs> Capricorn is not playing tonight. Let's get into this. <laughs> Nine of Wands, Capricorn is guarded. Said, Oh, Trixie, Trixie, I didn't seen your kind before. I didn't already seen your goddamn finesse and finagle. Bitch, you not stable. I didn't seen your finesse and your finagle, you little red hair, little fucking trollop ass vixen. Get your whore ass the fuck up and go the fuck on somewhere else with your goddamn bullshit. Cause I don't want ya. I done seen your kind before. And, um, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Cur curl yourself on somewhere. This man is looking. You see, you see how she's um I love you and I wanna I wanna spend my life with you. I feel like I met you in a past time. I feel like this has been a past life relationship. I feel like you're the person of my future, of my soul, of my destiny. He's like, oh my god. Yes, oh my god, I've never heard no one talk to me like that. Yes, I love you. Don't you believe me? Don't you believe me? Capricorn looking at this hussy like, mm, mm, mm. See, this is why I don't go outside. See, this is why I don't come out. Because little, little nasty ass bitches like you, y'all all, well, you look, look, look at how she got him. Look at you, look at you, and look at you. Capricorn is looking at some fool get trapped up, wrapped up, sucked up, or fucked up in some fantasy and some illusion. This bitch is a pro, okay? She's a, a, a okay? And this is why Capricorn keep they self guarded from this type of bullshit like that. Because you like, I'm not about to be sitting there looking like no simp ass nigga like this mother. Look at this, just go gullible and stupid and dumb like they ain't never seen no nice looking female with some big tits and a fat ass they just oh yeah i love you oh here's my bank account number one this is why uh uh this is why capricorn don't be playing with these hoes okay this is why capricorn don't be playing with these pros bitch i don't see hoes like you before uh uh listen look capricorn you see capricorn and they're like hey bruh run listen trying to shine a light like bruh i don't think you see where this is going bruh listen look you see, <laughs> look, you see the crows? You see the raven in the background? Look, oh, caw, caw, caw. <laughs> listen, caw. listen, bitch. Look, you trying to shine a light for you. Look, you need to protect yourself. Listen, you better watch yourself. Watch yourself. Caw, caw. This <laughs> look, the birds is trying to send some goddamn messages. Like, listen, you not paying attention. This person trying to let you know. Listen, she's a hoe. She's a hoe. I said that she's a hoe. Oh, listen. He ain't listening. What is this? The, lo <laughs> Did the lovers in the reverse. Listen to me, Tonita. Listen to me, cabron. Listen. This girl or this man has multiple lovers. They might love men and women. Might be bisexual, trisexual. High sexual. This bitch be high sexual. This nigga be high sexual. Motherfucker be high as a bitch and will try anything sexual. High sexual, bitch. Do you understand me? Do you understand she? Do you understand we? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Do you understand what? Okay? Capricorn is saying, hey, 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 hey. Shot in the light, bitch. This bitch is a hoe. You gonna pay for it later. You need to guard yourself. Don't fuck with Capricorn is trying to hip y'all to something. To somebody. Oh, and then the two of cups in the reverse. She's a hoe. Oh, like this is a, a oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I said that she's a hoe. Oh, listen, I can't tell you too many times to whoever this is, whoever this is, this poor man. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. You need to pay attention to your surroundings. That's basically what this is saying. Someone is trying to shine a light for you. Trying to like show you that you need to um, protect yourself and be more aware of the people that you are fixated in. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because um, whoever this is, um, they don't love you. I love the dough. More than you know, baby. They have a love the dough. Or I am a pro. More than you know. I am a hoe. I love the dough. Yeah. Okay, this bitch is a pro hoe. She for the dough and she won't mo mo. Okay. 
She like him. She like her. She like she. Bitch, she like we. She like all of us. Bitch, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this person has multiple sexual partners. They are just about fun. And I don't think no one should be waiting on anything like this. Like, not at all. I hope that this isn't someone that's about to... This is someone that's not guarding herself and... Please don't tell me that y'all about to get fixated up into this twin flame bullshit because I will not have no fucking parts of it. I'm telling you right now that this person is not attracted to you in that type of way. The same way they're attracted to you, they're attracted to multiple other people in the same way. Like, it's just a sexual union. Like, regardless if... This person is sending you sweet messages and stuff. If you waste your time, when you pass from this world, you have nothing to take with you but your soul and your memory. So the only thing you have in your memory is you really needing to guard yourself. Really needing to guard yourself and not be so full and easily gullible and manipulated by someone that really has no sense of loyalty, has multiple lovers, and has a false sense of commitment. Like, this person is not committed. And this is, okay, so, okay, all right, all right, okay. So, this is basically, <laughs> basically what I'm getting here is like, uh, somebody might not like what I really have to say right here, but it's like, it, it, it is what it is. Like, someone really doesn't, I feel like someone really doesn't like to hear the truth. I feel like someone kind of is very open. This is a queen of, queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. It's like, and then you got the wheel of fortune. That's good. You got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the Eight of Wands. But then you got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So let's let's call a spade a spade here. Like this is not love, baby. This is not love. This is not love at all. Do you understand? Um, I feel like it hurts your feelings when this person just bluntly comes out right and tells you exactly what it is. It's like, I kind of like, it's like, Someone enjoys like a level of control and like manipulation that they have over someone. It's like someone is kind of willing to wait and do and put up with the multiple lovers, the cheaters, the verbal abuse. I feel like this person talks to them like they fucking crazy and shit. And like in this Nine of Wands card, it, you know, typically the Nine of Wands is someone that is needing to stand up for itself that's needing to defend itself that needs to um not back down you know so it's like you see this person for what they or maybe they don't see this person i feel like you see this person for exactly what it is you see exactly what the situation is like regardless if your passion is ignited for this person only thing this person is doing is sending you messages of like a falsehood of commitment the lovers in reverse that you're not the only person that they're fucking the two of um, cups in reverse it's not like your soulmate it's not and then even you got the ace of cups in the reverse like this is not someone that has any type of emotional commitment to you i just feel like you allow this person to just come it's like things just happen really fast like you allowed this person to come into your life fast and y'all just it's like a lot of fast communication just like a lot of it's just a lot of fast communication, basically. It's just a sexual union here. I don't... It, this is not love. Like, and don't even try to put that fucking twin flame title on it where you're having... You're giving yourself a reason to keep yourself attached to a toxic situation. Like... This person talk to you however they want to talk to you. Or if they're not talking to you however. They're literally being blunt with you and telling you that it's just sex. And you need to stop tripping. And they have multiple lovers. And you're just one of the few. It might not be what you want to hear. But it's what you need to hear. For you to really like face reality. Like you could be dealing with a Capricorn female. And she has multiple men that grovel at her feet. Like she's beautiful. You understand? She's beautiful. She be about her money. And, like, she's worried about her family right now. I don't feel like she's not in no place where she feels like she has to kiss your ass or make you feel like it's something that it's not. She could very much so just be all about the money right now. Um, 
even though the Queen of Pentacles in an upright is someone that is very much so about a family and a home and a loving environment and things of that nature. But basically what this is saying is someone that is successful on her own, but she has multiple lovers. You know, like she has people that grovel at her feet. She's worried about having a very, very, listen, as you look out her window, it is the winter time. Do you understand? So it's cold outside and she wants to sit in her house in a life of luxury. She wants to be comfortable not by anybody else's uh, accomplishments but accomplishments by her own and have men that come and grovel and kiss and worship the feet in the ground and she walks on the wheel of fortune everything is turned upright for this person this person is receiving many many blessings right now um that part okay and this person is getting a lot of communications where they have a lot of options to choose from so i don't feel that this person is in a capacity where they're ready to choose love because I feel like they're sorting out their options. I, they they are not choosing love at this moment. They have many choices of love at this moment. And I feel like they have many more that they're willing to select for them before they really make an option. They really want to just have lovers. So, like, don't sit there and get seduced up and feel like you're... The, I don't give a fuck what this person is saying to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, um... And this, and this might very much so be someone that is getting sucked up in the chops of a Capricorn woman. You know what I'm saying? But this girl has many, many, many different lovers. I feel like she might love and have sex with men and women. All right? And this person is a liar, a manipulator with this knight of wands with this knight of swords in reverse they might tell you whatever the fuck they want to get whatever the fuck they want from you do you understand like they might actually put out information to the public so that people can see whatever they want to see to kind of keep up a facade or keep up a lie or something like that or to keep up a sense of control do you understand? Like, do you see how everyone is looking at how this man has control over this woman? And like, damn, you can dominate this person and this, this, and that. So I feel like someone might be putting out like a false sense of domination or control or might be deliberately trying to put information out to the public um, to make people feel like they're in control of the situation. That might just be a side fucking note for someone. Um... We have a wedding right here. Someone feels that this situation involves marriage. They feel like this could be the one here. Um, this worth waiting for in the reverse. It's like they don't want to wait anymore. Okay, okay, okay. But why am I getting like someone is such a fucking hoe though? <laughs> Let your friends help you. What is this? New love in reverse. See, this is like, this is, this is, this is, what is this in the reverse? Your passion is, is, but it's in the reverse. So, what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is going on here? We got the twin flame shit. We definitely have someone that is dealing with someone that I feel like, <laughs> alright, so you're dealing with someone well, I feel like you're needing to kind of stand up for yourself and pay more attention and be more guarded with yourself because there's like a false sense. There's like a false sense of love here. Like someone feels like they're in a situation that is love, but it's actually like a one of them toxic ass twin flame situation. It's like someone is more focused on their money and making new connections and being out there and making a lot of new contacts and a lot of new connections and a lot of new communication and thing and putting out this false sense of like control and like dominance um it's definitely someone out there putting out a false sense of dominance and control or, or it's maliciously putting out this sense of dominance and control. Because it's like, look at all these different men I got groveling at my feet. Like, I'm a player. 
and I make money, like I do this. Like I could easily just, you know, take your man and get him up under my shit and he could be one of, you know, one of my minions. Like, look, one of my minions and yeah, like it's like, like no bullshit. It's like, and it's like, I feel like regardless of the fact that this person is putting this energy in their face, like they're putting this shit in their face. In their face. Like that they might be loose. They might be a hoe. Uh, they. they. It's. <laughs> I, it, it, it's it, I don't want to say. It's like they, they're putting themselves out there. For a lot of new fast communication. It's like a lot of fast new communication. So it's like. This could be on the internet. Or something like that. Like they can just feel like. They're lucky, like everything is going good in their life and everything is in the upswing. Everything is good. But there's someone that is getting swept up up under this energy. And it's amazing energy. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're the one that's having all of these people, all of these people just like, you know, and you know you're not looking for love and you just got everyone to your beck and whim a little bit. It's like, why lie about it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm maliciously letting y'all know this how I am. This what it is. That I get a lot of communication. That I ain't out here looking for love. But if you want to get fucked, you can get fucked. And if you want to be on this, if you want to have this false sense of I'm your twin flame, you can go ahead and wait for that if you want to. But otherwise, you go and watch me out here controlling these bitches or controlling these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have multiple lovers multiple lovers you know but there's someone that is feeling like this connection could amount to marriage and that this could be the one and that this could be the one you have that you got worth waiting for I don't in the reverse in the saying divine timing is that working your love like it's this could be someone that doesn't want to wait or something it's like you don't want to wait you feel like this this one could be the one. But all the while, I feel like this person is blatantly kind of like flaunting their playeristic or sexual connections with all of these people. Like, it, this is like some real karmic twin flame shit. This person is not offering you love at all. At fucking all. At all. Not at all. You're just one of the many on this wheel of fortune. And just like, spin a wheel. Which one I'm going to fuck tonight? Like... This is crazy. You need to let your friends help you. You understand? Like, and open you up to new love. Because if it's like someone's blocking some new love. Like, you are. I feel like you guys know enough about twin flame relationships. I hope you guys know that twin flame relationships is not something that you should aspire to. It's something that you should run from. Do you understand? Like, this is not love. Do you understand? I want y'all to see how toxic this twin flame bullshit is. This shit is, like, not cool. Like, this person is blatantly, blatantly being carried in their face, but at the same time, they're still, like, you need to protect yourself and guard yourself from people like this. Stop chasing people that are not emotionally open and available to you. And you putting this fantasy and this illusion in your head like this. Oh, this is my twin flame. I'm just going to wait and everything like no. And I do feel like this is someone that is putting this energy in their head in regards to a Capricorn. Or it could be. Yeah, I mean, look metamorph it's time for you to like change your belief system and just like kind of like strive for a new beginning for some reason because like this person does not it is a commitment but this is not someone that is someone that you should be searching and praying for a commitment for it's you need to use your intuition do you see that moon back there you have to use your intuition and let your 
intuition guide you for you can so you can grow like do not get caught up in the illusion of the moon use the positive aspect of the moon not the negative the negative aspect of the moon is illusions you know what i'm saying so use your intuition not illusions intuition to really see that this person is not a commitment person this person has multiple partners multiple partners and it might be time for you to blossom and fly away and just let that shit go um hold on you guys because i gotta turn that beeping noise off that's driving me crazy hold on I'm so sorry about that. So, let's see where else this is going. Yeah, this is someone that doesn't. If this person isn't a commitment type of person at all, I don't give a fuck what they tell you. And remember the um, Knight of Swords in the reverse. This is like a habitual player. Like, this motherfucker will lie to you, will cheat on you. Well, it's like they abuse you, <laughs> like all this type of shit. Like, yeah, it's like you need to elevate your vibration so that you can really try to find the type of union that you want. And it's like your intuition will lead you and guide you the way you just continue to vibrate on a high level. And like the type of connection and union that you really want, it's going to come to you. It's definitely going to come to you. But like this right here is not love. Like someone has a false sense of love. Listen, get out of this karmic situation. Do you understand? Twin flame relationships are karmic situations. Do you understand? That's it. In a twin flame connection, every last person involved in all three of you are karmics. You can't say, oh, that's my divine masculine or that's my... No, all three of you guys are fucking karmic. Do you understand? I've been trying to tell y'all that for forever. For forever. You got to vibrate on a higher level in order to find that type of connection. Other than that, and there's moons all over the place. It's like really trying to show you and then there, they go to other moons. Listen, all of this is teaching you how to use your intuition and to like not get okay this okay this kept dropping and that's the fucking soulmate card thank you jesus no wonder why i kept dropping because i kept trying to put it in and kept dropping you need a soulmate not a twin flame do you see this is someone on their knees offering in like asking you to marry them this is real marriage do you understand stop being impatient and thinking that Real marriage and real love and connections is not worth waiting for a twin flame relationship. Let me show you what the twin flame card look like in here. Listen, the twin flame. The twin flame, that is not positive love. That looks like the love from hell. This is not even fire. This is the big glowing moon in the back, like the orange moon. Do you understand? And someone offering you love. They're showing you their commitment. This is just a love wrapped up in fucking hell. It's just a sexual union. It's just based off of sex and lust. And that's why it's all of these people. Listen. It ain't nothing but lust. And it's people caught up in illusions. And fairy tales. And foolishness. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to vibrate on a higher level. Do you understand? And use your intuition. All of these moons. Look at all of these moons. Look. The moon right here and they're telling you that you need to blossom and metamorph into that butterfly. Into that butterfly that go to the moon, right? You realizing that this is not commitment. This is not a commitment worthy or commitment oriented type of person. Listen, the karmic partnership that you need to release and let go. All of you guys are karmic. You cannot call yourself a divine feminine or a divine masculine until all of y'all walk away from this karmic relationship. Wipe your slate clean and ready to restart your life again and vibrate on a whole totally different level where you're using your intuition to call in that sacred union. Not a sacred sexual union. A sacred union, not a sexual union. It has to be something more than just fucking sex. Listen, that orange moon soulmate 
Someone that's making an offer of commitment where you don't have to question. You don't have to guard yourself. You don't have to worry about how many lovers and all that. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. It's about the big dream. It's about the big fish. There go the goddamn um, moon again. It's about you making balanced decisions. It's about you really not getting caught up in your own fairy tales and illusions about what it is that you want because you want it so bad that you're settling. Do you understand? Don't settle. Be patient. Time for that awakening. For you to see far past than what is just in front of your face and see what's beyond you. See what God is really trying to give you, baby. God is trying to give you a soulmate. A soulmate is worth waiting for. So stop settling and trying to attach yourself. Oh, this person going to come back. No, no we, not, we don't do that bullshit. Capricorn damn sure don't do that shit. And I can guarantee you Capricorn is probably the one that some of y'all sniffed there waiting on and all that shit. Capricorn telling y'all off jump what it is. You understand what I'm saying? Capricorn telling you off jump. Like, you can't get mad at somebody for just being who the fuck they going to be. They only going to slow down when the fuck they want to slow down. I would not spend years of my life sitting back waiting for somebody to slow down. Look at how much of your time you waste. Listen, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and your memories that you have shared with yourself and with others. So if only memories that you had was being secluded to yourself, waiting and hoping and wishing and praying that someone would recognize you and come back and give you the attention and love and not just the sexual union whenever they want to get their dick or their pussy wet do you understand if you waste your life everyone got 24 hours in a day you have nobody to blame but yourself this person is blatant blatant everyone can see this protect yourself wait 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 where is this worth waiting for in the reverse listen wait Divine timing is at play here. Wait. And do not be delusional. Focus on the big picture. Maybe it's maybe y'all are just now being awakened to the listen, this shit right here is toxic. It's fuck. Let me be the one to tell you. It's time to wake up. This is what you want. Not fucking connections from fucking hell. Like no. <laughs> fucking no. This poor helpless man. Poor fortunate soul. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you poor fortunate soul. Fright. Did I scare you? I'm telling you the truth though. Do not let someone come and fucking ruin your life. I'd rather me in some shit and walk away with my head held high when I already know that this shit ain't going fucking well. You can't destroy something that's already destroyed. Do you understand? Someone can try to destroy you. Don't allow no one to mentally get up in your fucking crawl like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? That fucks with your self-esteem. It makes you feel constantly frightened by, well, who is this person dating? And, and uh, why am I not? Where? No, do not let people do that to you. That will break down and dismantle your self-worth and your self-fucking-esteem. I don't give a fuck. If this is you holding on to Capricorn and... Capricorn doing whatever the fuck they doing. You need to separate yourself and walk away from this nightmare. Because Capricorn is fine. Do you understand? Capricorn is not feeling what you're feeling. Or Capricorn, you're not feeling what they're feeling. Whoever this is for, do you understand? This is someone that... The, 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 nine, of, the nine of spades is someone that needs to accept defeat. You understand? It feels like the worst pain, like someone being stabbed in the back, uh, recognizing ruin, um, like their hopes being destroyed, like it could represent jealousy, it could represent envy, um, like someone shining a light on something that I want that I can't have and it's like Mm-mm, that's not good. Listen, the consultant. You need, like, to talk to someone to get some type of help to kind of get you to get over, like, your fears, your anxiety, um, whatever it is that's getting you to the point where 
you can't cut this out yourself and you you can't step away from it and, and it's like kind of like self-abuse a little bit being in denial about the fact that something is hurting you allowing it to keep hurting do you understand it's it's time for you to face your fear and cut certain shit out. What is this? Contrary displeasure. It's like regardless of how good you try to put this front on and try to make everything seem like everything cool, it's not cool. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not as cool as you are trying to make that shit seem. And, and that's why it's like... You need to think about your self-value and you got to think about what truly works for you. You know what I'm saying? What is the most healthy work environment for you because the um three of diamonds is kind of like the three of pentacles you know what i'm saying like it's like <sighs> absence like this is someone like that's not in your life this is someone that barely talks to you you know this is someone that barely talks to you if they talk to you at all the three they're out communicating and being with other people like i said third parties like these people are not talking to you because they're off doing something else creating with someone else like this is and then the pension the pensioner like this is the king of hearts like so it's this is something that this person only pays their time in when they really trying to get something out of it they fill your heart up with all of this uh hope and joy and all of this stuff like that but at the end of the day you know it's like i feel like someone is being yoked along here and they're trying to fantasize and make believe things to be a situation in their mind that it really isn't like this person don't talk to you like that you know understand like i feel like you're having a third party consultant it's ever like you're getting information from this person through tarot or you're getting information through a friend or it might be someone else that you're consultant consultant trying to figure out how to approach or if it's worth holding on to or something like that or maybe you do need to consult somebody to help you work out this breakup let me read to y'all what because i want y'all to really understand what the nine of uh, spades means because it's not a good card baby do you understand what i'm saying so the nine of spades traditionally a card of misfortune of grief of ruin and tragic endings this is a cards of an ominous shadow that surrounds all of the other cards in the spread negative emotions associated with unfortunate events in life such as emotions of fear worry sadness tears disappointment depression grief this is a card that can revere hang-ups and fears that block us from reaching our goals obsessiveness or compulsive behavior secrets mystery lies suspicion deception criminal activity betrayal a large body of water look i told you water sign i told you a large body of water okay the unconscious or subconscious evil forces the darkness the night cold weather the winter and i told it was something else about didn't I tell you out this woman's out this woman's door was the winter. So you guys need to maybe get counseling or something like that to be able to process this shit because you can't continue to make it seem like things are something that it's not. And I feel like this is something that you put in your mind. Like diamonds represents mental, mental, mental. You understand? It represents, like, the mind, your intelligence, you know? Being analytical, to be able to spiritually analyze something in a healthy way. So, it's like someone's holding on to someone that's clearly being very blatant. When they're letting you know their intentions and who they are and everything. And it's like people beating this fairy tale in their head and, and seeing what they want to see. See what they want to see and believe. When this person is clearly telling you and showing you, listen... It is what it is. Might be cold, but I'm comfortable from where I'm seated. I got many people groveling to my feet, you know, so I'm not going to kiss your ass at all. Either you accept my lifestyle 
or you get the fuck on. It's cold in the D. You understand? It is cold in the D. So listen, I love you guys. This person is not commitment type of person. So, like, please don't fall victim to your own illusion. As you can see, this, this woman is all into it. This man maybe not be as into it the way... So, anyway, I love y'all. Y'all fuck this twin flame shit. Y'all stop letting this, this word fuck y'all life up. I love y'all. Peace.